Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we will do questions that were asked in UPSC IS prelims on bills. When a bill is referred to a joint sitting of both the houses of the parliament, it has to be passed by. Now questions on joint sitting have been asked multiple times and if you solve previous year questions, you can easily solve questions like this. Options are a simple majority of members present and voting, three-fourths majority of members present and voting, two-thirds majority of the houses, absolute majority of the house. Answer is A. A simple majority of members present and voting. Next, what will follow if a money bill is substantially amended by the Rajya Sabha? Now about money bill, money bill can only be introduced in Lok Sabha. Rajya Sabha can suggest amendments, can give its suggestion, but it cannot amend it. Rajya Sabha can hold money bill for 14 days and after that, Lok Sabha has the power to pass it. Options are given. The Lok Sabha may still proceed with the bill accepting or not accepting the recommendations of the Rajya Sabha. The Lok Sabha cannot consider the bill further. The Lok Sabha may send the bill to the Rajya Sabha for reconsideration. The President may call a joint sitting for passing the bill. Now, in case of joint sitting, it can be called only for ordinary bills, not for money bill or for constitution amendment bill. So, answer here will be A. The Lok Sabha may still proceed with the bill accepting or not accepting the recommendations of the Rajya Sabha. Next, consider the following statements. The Rajya Sabha has no power either to reject or to amend a money bill. True? Just now we learnt the Rajya Sabha cannot vote on the demand for grants. This is also true. Rajya Sabha can discuss the demands for grants. The Rajya Sabha cannot discuss the annual financial statement. This is not correct. The Rajya Sabha can discuss the finan annual financial statement and the discussion does take place in Rajya Sabha regarding the budget. Annual financial statement is the union budget. So, which of the statements given above is are correct? 1 and 2 only. Next, which of the following statements is are correct? A bill pending in the Lok Sabha lapses on its prorogation. A bill pending in the Rajya Sabha which has not been passed by the Lok Sabha shall not lapse on dissolution of the Lok Sabha. Now, this is an important topic. Prorogation means ending of a session. So, if a session ends, what is the effect on the bills? Ending of session means no effect on the bills. In case of dissolution of Lok Sabha, since Rajya Sabha does not dissolve, the dissolution of Lok Sabha is followed by lapsing of all businesses, including bills, motions, resolutions, notices, petitions, and so on anything which is pending before it or its committees. However, there are few bills which do not lapse even on its dissolutions. A bill which is pending in the Lok Sabha lapses. A bill passed by the Lok Sabha but pending in the Rajya Sabha, it also lapses. But a bill not passed by the two houses due to disagreement, and if the president has notified the holding of a joint sitting before the dissolution of Lok Sabha, then it does not lapse. A bill pending in the Rajya Sabha but not passed by the Lok Sabha does not lapse. A bill passed by both houses but pending assent of the president does not lapse. And a bill passed by both houses but returned by the president for reconsideration of houses does not lapse. So, the bill lapses in two cases when it is pending in the Lok Sabha and it is passed by the Lok Sabha but pending in the Rajya Sabha. Next, with reference to the Parliament of India, consider the following statements. A private member's bill is a bill presented by a member of Parliament who is not elected but only nominated by the President of India. This is not true. A private member's bill means those members of Parliament who are not part of the government. Recently, a private member's bill has been passed in the Parliament of India for the first time in its history. This is not true. Till now, number of private member bills have been passed by the parliament. Every Friday of the week is assigned or reserved for private bill discussion. Generally, a private member bill reflects the stand of the opposition party on public matters. The first private member bill was passed on the Muslim Works Bill introduced by Sayyid Muhammad Ahmad Kasmi in 1952. So, the answer will be neither one nor two. Next, what is the power of Rajya Sabha regarding money bill? It can amend it. It can reject it. It can withhold the bill for 14 days to make recommendations. It has no power regarding money bill. Answer will be C. Next, in which case a joint session of the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha is convened by the president. You see, again the question has been asked on joint session. When a finance bill is to be passed by the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha with two-third majority. No, because joint session is called only for ordinary bills. To impeach the president, this is also not correct. If after a bill has been passed by one house and transmitted to the other house and the bill is rejected by the other house. C. Who decides whether a bill is a money bill or not? Speaker of the Lok Sabha, President, Prime Minister, Vice President. Answer is A. Speaker of the Lok Sabha. In the joint session, Speaker of the Lok Sabha 
presides the session. Next, a parliamentary bill passed by the Lok Sabha is sent to the President for assent. The President sends it back to Lok Sabha for reconsideration. If the Lok Sabha again sends it back to the President without making any changes, the President must give his assent to it, can again send the bill for reconsideration, can take help of the Supreme Court, can arrange referendum. The President can send back the bill once for reconsideration. If the Lok Sabha again sends back it to the President, the, pres the President must give his assent to it. Next, which one of the following statements about a money bill is not correct? A money bill can be tabled in either house of parliament. Not true. It can only be tabled in Lok Sabha. The speaker of Lok Sabha is the final authority to decide whether a bill is a money bill or not. True. The Rajya Sabha must return a money bill passed by the Lok Sabha and send it for consideration within 14 days. True. The president cannot return a money bill to the Lok Sabha for reconsideration. You see, the answer of the previous question is in this question. The president cannot return a money bill to the Lok Sabha for reconsideration. True. So the answer will be A. Consider the following statements. The joint setting of the two houses of the parliament in India is sanctioned under Article 108 of the constitution. True. The first joint setting of Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha was held in the year 1961. True. The second joint setting of the two houses of Indian parliament was held to pass the Banking Service Commission repeal bill. This is also correct. So answer will be 1, 2 and 3. Which one of the following bills must be passed by each house of the Indian parliamentary separately by special majority? Ordinary bill, money bill, finance bill, constitution amendment bill. So answer will be constitution amendment bill. Next, with reference to Indian parliament, which one of the following is not correct? The appropriation bill must be passed by both the houses of parliament before it can be enacted into law. True. No money shall be withdrawn from the Consolidated Fund of India except under the appropriation made by the Appropriation Act. True. Finance bill is required for proposing new taxes, but no additional bill or act is required for making changes in the rates of taxes which are already under operation. This is not true since any changes require parliamentary approval. No money bill can be introduced except on the recommendation of the President. This is also correct. So, answer will be C. This is not true. Next, a deadlock between the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha calls for a joint sitting of the parliament during the passage of ordinary legislation, money bill, constitution amendment bill. As we discussed earlier, the joint sitting is called only for ordinary legislation, not for money bill or constitution amendment bill. So, the answer will be A only. So, you see, so many questions get repeated. If you want to solve all previous your questions, I have made a compilation. Link will be in the description. You can buy from there. And if you are new here, do subscribe. We upload new videos daily. Keep practicing. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.